Zombie Zombies content creators. Probably the most important thing that has shaped the zombies community to what it is today. There are countless amounts of them. From new ones- I, I actually agree with this, but also when people say that Treyarch is not responsible for what we say, I think that's a little bit of lumfow for sure to old ones but today personally i want to go over one that influenced me the most over the past few years from his unique style of editing content making and his unique personality i want to talk story. today about the story of mr <laughs> that's so funny bro what an image what an image whoa chat dang dude this is some hardcore nostalgia right here hardcore nostalgia bro. Let's do it. Mr. T likes if I join YouTube on the 15th of March. Lads, we hit half a billion views, bro. I always think about that. Like half, I, was, I think about that like where it's like half a billion views. One billion eyes have seen my content. That's very strange, man. That's very strange. Now, Mr. T Lexify is not his only YouTube channel, as he also has a YouTube channel called Lex Lounge, which is acting as his second YouTube we love channel, the Lex Lounge, where he bro. uploads extra we love content, the Lex Lounge. mainly concentrating on reaction videos. Yeah, and chat, I will be, I think, evolving it into different games and stuff because I know there are Twitter Andes that are after me. Uh, so, chat, we will be doing that. And also, I still probably will be reacting to speedrun world records and all that so we'll see how things go chat we'll see how things go also he has a but youtube yeah, channel called t -Lex, t lex which is more chat t lex minecraft content coming soon bro let's go man actually makes me so pumped man actually makes me so pumped i'm so excited man we're bringing it back lads there's been a whole slew of reasons why i haven't been able to upload recently but boys my website is launching so finally i'll get more time we're bringing it back 100 days of gaming boys let's go man i'm so excited but unfortunately of a minecraft based channel but hasn't seen any uploads in over a year and lastly he also has a youtube channel called annie Lek, which i switched to casual cinema chat boys i've announced that we are axing this channel this channel will be gone a moment of silence, 07's in chat. This channel will be deleted probably today or tomorrow. Uh, just because chat, I ran into so many problems with uploading anime and copyright issues. And since I've lived through the DMCA stuff with YouTube, I know how it's like when everything you upload just gets instantly taken away and copyrighted and you lose everything. So I'm not willing to do that again, chat. I was thinking of doing a Patreon. Maybe I'll still think about doing the Patreon, but this channel will be getting axed. So F's in chat. Which is a bit of a movie channel only has three uploads and are mainly concentrating yeah. on the spider -Man. I wanted to do movies, but then I was like, bro, fuck that man I don't want to do movies I wanted to do anime and now I just don't want to do movies because I'm just scared of copyright and all this bullshit So I'm just like I don't give a dang and I was gonna give it to Ren But then we were talking about it and I was like, I don't want people to like be subbed and then be like, yo What happened to the casual cinema channel? So I'm, we're axing it. She's gonna start her new channel It'll be just like that. My movies and also Got have not seen any yeah. uploads in around seven months. Now, I won't be talking today about those YouTube channels. Just wanted to quickly cover them as they are part of what Mr. T-Lexify has created over the past few years and his brand. Now, Mr. T-Lexify or Lex didn't upload his first YouTube video until the 21st of March of 2013, which is the year he began YouTube. This YouTube video was- Chat, have y'all seen my first video? It's so funny, bro. It wasn't anything special. It's just I don't even sound like me in this video i actually wonder if it like i was on drugs or something when i did production it. explain I what the youtube channel is like going to be concentrating now. on now the most interesting thing about this is Who that the knows, second youtube man. video is actually quite a few months later from what i can guess is yes. that either he took a break and didn't upload until may of that same year or he has privated or deleted the videos in between now, it's a mixture of both it's a mixture of both because a lot of the a lot of when i started was me trying to experiment what I liked and what I disliked. And um, ZWC chat, zombie weapon comparison. My zombie weapon comparison lovers, let's go. We're back, man. Listen, zombie weapon comparison was, I think, my first standout thing in the community that I really liked doing because it was different. It was unique. Nobody had done it at the time. 
man, a lot of these thumbnails aren't even formatted to YouTube anymore. Look at this. There's so much black in them. That's so sad. Bruh. Come on now. But I mean, like, it's just the way it is, chat. I remember hand cutting all of these images out, bro. It was such a pain, bro. It was such a pain. But hey, love this series. Good series. Videos sure. that are up over the next few months, he concentrated on doing weapon comparisons until one day he decided to upload a video concentrating on top five something now what Let's i mean go. by something is these top five my top five gamers man top five perks and zombies top five i feel like weapons, most people found most me from this video on his youtube be channel being top five zombie bosses bringing Bruh. in 7.3 million views we will never know channel. why to this Chat, day this video ted is the biggest thing on cod zombies you can't even lie to me I feel like more people know Ted than the ray gun, than the mystery box, than anything. People know Ted, man. Is his number one video. Ted and is it is quite legend, interesting, man. as he has mentioned, that Shout out to enough, Ted, video man. that took him around 50 minutes to make ended up being his most popular video on Literal the channel. Facts. Over the next few Literal years, facts. he did concentrate on zombies content mainly, obviously covering games like Advanced War for Zombies and Black Ops 3, and also including things like... Dude, Little that Challenger. drought with Exo Zombies but before BL3, that was so bad. I, we're y'all there during that that was so bad man that year of drought oh where we had to wait for exo maps oh from rainbow park get me out of there man zombie maps and news coverage it was now one so thing that really bad. did make him grow over the next few years was a collection of different things one of the things that always made him stand out from other zombies content creators and other youtubers was the fact that he had a very interesting way to start his YouTube videos, and that was by including memes. Dude, now, these memes were always I miss Vine so much, man. I like TikTok humor, but some TikToks are, I just like, lads, I'm gonna be honest, 99% of TikToks are bait. It's literally just like, they'll sit there on the screen for like five seconds and just do this, and there'll be like a caption, and then there's like one frame at the end that's the actual content. That's all TikToks are, man. It's not content. It's just it's just garbage. It's it, like I I literally despise it. I despise what's happened to Vine, man. It's so sad. Bro. Something in relation. I'll to always zombies. say Vine there better were than quick TikTok. Quick little short always. videos that could grab always. a person's attention, give you a light chuckle, and you would know what you're getting into. On top of these memes, also the personality that Mr. T likes if I also lads. I next. did upload Vine compilations, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> Two years. Lads, we, don't that. That we, we don't talk about that. We we genuinally don't talk about that. Extremely comedic and always could that make we could you not. Laugh. We could On top not of talk this, about that. Also his this King Bob. Fuck boys, very, let's go! Very impressive edits every so often made him just that bit more special, bringing in countless amount of new subscribers, new viewers. Now, as the years went on, Mr. T X Fight obviously decided to. I loved editing zombies footage back in the day, man. I I go back and watch some of my old edits that I did, and I was like, man, what was I on? <laughs> Adapt to the new YouTube format. What was I it does thinking? Also change over some time, and he decided to upload content on Fortnite. I now, Fortnite and the zombies. Boys interesting thing that i personally noticed nah, and this no actually listen i'm gonna say something the same motherfuckers that are coming at me on twitter are the same motherfuckers that are like don't ever upload fortnite and if that's not the most true thing that i've ever spit in my entire life i don't know what is man and that was why one day i literally just decided to delete all my fucking fortnite videos because it's like i don't i've had it i don't want these fucking assholes to watch my content i'm sick and tired i put so much time into this shit man and these guys were just wasting my time and I deleted all of them. I deleted all of them. So then I finally decided to bring it back, but dude, it just this includes the, the relationship hell that Mr. T likes if I has with it. Fortnite man. became this it was game so like toxic Minecraft back was in the, the day, past man. where all of a sudden if you play Fortnite, it's a kid's game, it's embarrassing. Dude, so I miss this Fortnite, man. Season one, like straight OG Fortnite. Nobody knew how to build. It was it was similar to zero build how it is nowadays. But dude, everyone's just so good now. Let's laugh at it. So Mr. Everyone T. Was so good at FPS. Private his videos. Thankfully, over time yeah. he decided to unprivate them, and you can actually go and watch at least some of them because I'm guessing that not every single one has made it out of either being deleted or unprivated. No, and some of them will never. Some of them I will never uh, 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 re-upload. So, I mean, I I I put out. I think I put out with chat. We did it literally one stream. Where I unprivated them, uh, but I—I I mean, chat. If you guys want a video, an old one that you can remember, 
I'll put it up. But I think I put up the best ones already. Just let then me again, know. I don't let me know on the Twitter or something. Scenario there. And they're definitely a nice thing to see. Now, as time went on, Mr. T Lexified cover Black Ops 4 and OG other zombies related stuff. But over Lads, the and this was my biggest mistake. I always say my biggest mistake in YouTube was that I covered Black Ops 4. <laughs> It's actually so funny to say back in the day now, because I'm just like, bruh, if I actually did cover Fortnite and I just said, screw COD Zombies, just like Pat did and like what he did with Minecraft, I feel like I actually would have been in a way better spot in my YouTube like audience and all that. I, Cause like, it's just that I, I was so negative, I think after BL3 ended and I remember like just seeing all this like garbage Fortnite content get popular again and I was so sad about like what was happening to YouTube and to be honest I still partly feel like YouTube is still like next that. few months he decided so, to do something very different with his YouTube channel foul, that was implementing man. reaction videos this yeah. was a very big change from reaction his normal meta content. it kind of just changed up the formula of no longer being a zombies YouTube channel but more of a reaction based one now, obviously I love know, reacting memes lads should I go back and do this I that love Mr. the new decided reactions, to set up man. a second YouTube channel like, where what now the heck even is is that concentration thing, on bro. there but it did go on for quite some time and i do know that a lot of people did not find that very good the views were definitely great but the fact that it wasn't no longer a zombie yeah channel, and that's why that's why i decided to like go from mr t lex fight alex lounge because i was just like yeah i don't want this because literally chat there's a point i think in 2019 where my channel was literally just reactions because i was like bro these are just banging on my channel why would i even do cod zombies 2019 what was happening cod zombies Literally nothing. Warzone just came out, so literally nothing. Uh, brought in a few people wanting him to create more zombies content, which from the day he stopped making reaction videos on his main YouTube channel, he has stuck with zombies, and even to this day, True. making zombies content. True. And chat, I, I've said this. I think I'm going to be playing zombies up until Deviation Games comes out. I'm going to be playing that standalone game, but I'm telling you, chat, I genuinely believe so hard in this Deviation game that I, it's going to actually make me quit COD Zombies and get a new audience on that game, which I am honestly beyond excited for. I'm very happy. And one thing that. that did change over the few years that he was making YouTube videos was the fact that he got an editor to make his content. True. We will not be talking about this guy today. Actually, chat, I do want to talk about Don. Um, because Don actually messaged me on a, uh, Twitter message and him and I, he just basically apologized for a lot of his behavior, uh, because lads, like it, it sucks because six months ago, this situation happened. And honestly, I am still after six months, still trying to find someone that did as great of a work as Don did. And I want people to know that because that is why I'm making my website that is why I'm trying to help everybody else with editing and stuff. It's because it's something that I really the best zombies want map of all time. people to not have struggled with. Because lads, Black like Ops I said, so far I think 2022 has been one of the worst years of my life. Just in terms of like finding certain editors and all that. But it's been, it's been good. And I understand that a lot of people will never forgive Don. And part of me does either because seriously he's probably put me in one of the worst states of depression that I've ever been in. But chat, I can gladly say that him and he and I have separated our ways and I hope that he finds solace in whatever he wants to do and that everything can go uh, well for the rest of us. So a lot, I want people to know that because I think it's important. I think it's people, it's important that people know that. I'm going to save that for a different video. And it didn't make Mr. Telexify feel a bit different. It didn't feel personally to me like it was Mr. Telexify's content, just him talking, doing his funny personality, but it just did not feel True. the same. True, and I know there's a lot of people on just everywhere that want me to upload. What's the new website? It's edit.tv. Go check it out. It's a it's for editors, but we haven't officially launched. I know a lot of people want me to like go back and to um, do my own edits, but lads, I always do my edits. I screen the edits. It's mainly just like lads. It's the algorithm. The algorithm today is very bad. There was something that I think happened back in like 2019 or 2020 where like it just the algorithm has just gone to to caca ever since demonetization and all that. And so it's still always a constant process of me trying to figure out what is the content that I really want to do and what is it that I really want to put out. What did he do, chat? I mean, literally, basically, in terms of the Dawn situation, he just did a bunch of bad stuff. Like, you can go find it on Twitter if you're curious. I mean, Philly is going to make a video about that. I'll probably watch that one just to clarify things. Um, but 
like I said, chat, it's mainly just, I don't want people to be upset about my content and I want to try and please as many people as I can. And it's literally a juggling bag because as you can already tell within five minutes, I've done like reaction content, Fortnite content. I've been all over the place, Omegle content everywhere. So it's always something that I'm trying to struggle with and figure out how hey, I can help. On top everyone. of YouTube, Mr. Tlexify used to also stream a lot, which made him move over to Twitch, which True. he has been streaming on for the past few years, Let's bringing go. in plenty of new viewers. On I love there. Twitch. I love Twitch, lads. I know a lot of you here are from YouTube and you guys like my YouTube streams from back in the day. I don't know, man. I don't. I love Twitch streams. Man. There's and something so amazing about it. I love the Mr. chat. Tlexify love you guys. Lex Lounge. Yeah. Now, aside from the main development of his YouTube channel, there's some things I want to cover apart from the videos themselves. And the first one is the Z House. Now, summer of 2016, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies was in its prime. The Actually, boys. in its honesty, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 the Zombies boys. seems to be somehow still going on. It's still one of the most popular zombies games out there. Let's Every go. YouTuber seems hey, to be doing videos on it. But nonetheless, a group nope. of content creators from the zombies I, community I decided so. to get a house and work so. together to create content. Content. Very similar to up, yeah. what you would think of the yeah. face house, but it felt that much more special know, to this day Even reminiscing about do it what you got a do nice though. memory now the content creators love... obviously consisted of mr. T Lexify this Smith play... boys. I feel like <sighs> Is this isn't it wild that Z house was one of the first actual content creator houses Isn't that insane is MC sports hot? I always think about it now because it's so oversaturated now Chucky for the win and Lonely we were mailbox, one of the first. Sometimes man. some special guests like Mr. Raffle Waffles. The channel <laughs> that was created were just some Why that image, bro? Sometimes I, I love how that is becoming the iconic Milo image. <laughs> together. And it was just such a special thing to be watching. I love that. The, old days, the, the iconic nowadays, just Milo image, some bro. Of the challenge videos puts a smile on my face. The content definitely was performing very well for every single one of the members love of the Z House. Dude, YouTube. Chucky looks so pissed, bro. Everyone's smiling. Chucky's just, I'm buttoned up. Beat channels and was a very successful thing. The Z House did actually return for 2017, doing the exact same thing and bringing in quite a lot of views. Unfortunately, we haven't seen anything like that since then, since everybody ended up moving on. But Dude, back in it's been five years since Z House 2 chat. That is actually depressing. 16 Jeez. Z House, Mr. Tlexify on the 22nd of September hit his goal of 1 million subscribers. And with this came something True. that I feel like is the most fascinating the best zombies map of Mr. all time. And that is he and Black aimed Ops to create one of the most ambitious 1 million subscriber specials I have ever heard of. Some of the True. things that consisted in this video True. were not only actual footage. the content creators that actual Mr. Footage. Tlexify was friends with, coming into the video and creating some things that we to this day don't know, but also Mr. Tlexify getting a full-on set to perform on to introduce the actual video that we thankfully have seen but also he has visited the real life location of the rising rock which is set in uh, how, how, how can weapon yeah this is it this is the name i'm sorry for butchered it <laughs> now you can find some of the clips that mr tlexify released himself True. and people have combined some collections of these video snippets that we have seen and you can kind of get an experience of the one million special because we have not seen it to this day the main reason for the chat we'll see this is because we'll the see. video itself is not finished we'll see August i don't want to say too much because every time i say too much i feel like i disappoint people but we'll 31st see of we'll 2017, see, Mr. We'll see. released a teaser for the 1 million subscriber special updating us on the process of it from what we learned mr tlexify hired nikki hd to create an animation True. that and lads, the Nikki HD drama has been resolved. She is working on it for me. And I think I've said that before, but I'll say that was quite long and quite impressive for a zombies community. Now the so reason she's he been has hired her is because in the she background had knowledge in the for zombies about like experience and he didn't think that anyone could do as good of a job. Something. Thankfully since then Mr. Tlexify has shown us Chat, should I show you should I show you should I you know, show you like a Ops very Ops. small preview? She actually sent me something. One of the chat. Oh, should I show y'all? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for it. It's in my email. Hold on. It's in my email, man. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. I'm looking for it. Uh, 
Uh, frick. Oh, she has a couple emails. Hold on, chat. Uh, where the frick it at, homie? I'm looking, chat. I'm looking. I'm looking. It's somewhere in here. Sorry, I'm just looking through my emails. Frick, man. Sorry, chat. Sorry, chat. Sorry, chat. Sorry to just delay everything. I, it's somewhere in your match. She sent me a preview of it and I watched it. I'm just looking for it. Uh... Where is it? I'm looking for it, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, chat. I have it somewhere in these emails. Oh. Oh, wait. No. I thought I found it for a sec. I thought I found it, chat. I swear. I swear. Dude, where is it? She privated the video. No, I should have saved it. Fuck. Wait, hold on. Maybe she sent it again. Chat, it was so good. Oh, dang, that makes me so sad. Chat, look, here is the link. I'll legit show you. This is the link. I'll tell you what it was though. It was this really amazing shot. So like, it was similar to like my Chronicles video here. Hold on. It was similar to my Chronicles video here with this, <laughs> this animation. And it was like with Richtofen sitting down and it was like the forest behind him and it was like burning. And then there was like a summoning key and it was doing like all these different animations. It was sick, man. I She, she took it down, bro. But hey, Ch I'm telling you, I promise. I promise it'll be sick, man, because... This was originally supposed to be in my one mil, but I never ended up actually, I just, I just threw it here. Cause I was like, oh, it'd be kind of sick to like show this off on Chronicles. Uh, but chat, I guarantee you boys will be coming soon. We'll be coming soon. Let's get back to the reaction. Let's get back to the this. edits and they do look very impressive. But unfortunately, Nikki HD decided to disappear off of social media and especially Twitter where Mr. T Lexify mainly communicated with True. her. We do not exactly know why she disappeared, but she, she disappeared. Okay, chat. I actually know why I'll explain it. She disappeared for two years to work with. I don't know who you I don't know. Does anybody know who the creator of mega is mega download? I forgot his name, Kim.com. Chat, she ended up working with for Kim.com for two years. And that is why I was like, oh my gosh. Like, dude, like someone that big, chat. It was crazy. It was crazy. So she worked for Kim.com for two years. She came back and I was like, bro, where have you been? And she's like, I worked on this like incredible project with him. And I was like, oh my God. I don't know what the project was, but I was just like, okay, like that's crazy. Social media up until 2021, where Mr. T Lexify updated us on the relevant podcast, telling us the situation of what has happened. Yeah, and this dude, it's system. literally chat. This is like literally within the last year because this has been so so recent, man. Thank you, John. Special and that she has come back and emailed him, Yo, telling him that she I've will been finish off your the content edit for since 20. I was 11 back in 2013. I'm almost 19 now, and I just want to say that your content you has so always much, been a great highlight of we my love day. That. Can't wait to see Can't what Deviation Games see comes what out Deviation with. Games Me too. Comes out and with. I kind of hope that Deviation Games will be sort of like a part of my one mil. Also, chat, it wasn't 20k. We negotiated. MRT Drake's in chat. It wasn't 20k. Gamer. It because she actually charged me 20k, but we resolved it, chat. We actually made something good, and. I'm proud. So I'm excited, lads. $3,000. Now, if you ask me, that is quite a large amount of money that obviously not everybody can just easily pay off. It's just also chat because it's 20K because it's legit. It's, this is not like no, 
half-ass trailer type shit. No, this is legit, dude. Uh, now, Mr. TLX, if I didn't say that he paid or that he is going to pay, honestly, no, I we've resolved it. Really we've it. resolved now, he did it. We've resolved that it. We should be expecting. To I, see I haven't paid anything else. We've years, resolved it. Which he it's did say good. in 2021, it's and currently we're halfway through 2022. The best so maybe of all over time. the next one year and a half, or at least a year, we might actually see it finally release. Also, Mr. TLX, if I did say that this video once was aimed to be his last video ever on. True. And then I realized, well, we'll see. <laughs> I remember, I well, remember sitting we'll down see. in a room with him and he was like, Dude. I still haven't decided it, man. I still haven't decided it, to be honest. I'm still indecisive about it because I'm like, well, you know, like if I, if I go full time on my website and if that really picks up traction or something, then we'll see. Maybe I won't, I'll stop doing YouTube and then I'll release it or something. We'll yeah, special, see, chat, the, the we'll YouTube, see. Man. Now this is quite an interesting thing to think about as everybody wants to come to an end. People want to move on and find different things True. that they might want to make content on. And if that does True. end up being Mr. Tlaxify's last video, it is quite a nice thing to see for some of his fan base. Personally, True. I have been keeping up with this 1 million subscribers special for quite some time and it has been a very interesting rodeo to go through so to finally yeah. see that video i think it will be an acceptable yeah lads it's been a journey to do this video like this video i don't even lads i don't even care if this video bombs like literally i don't care if it does like 1000 views literally if it, it i don't care how many video views it gets all i care about is that it just gets up one day that is all i care about thing for him to be his last one but then again we don't really know what mr tlexify wants to do and we don't really know if we'll actually ever see the full video but one day we might and i'm really looking forward to that yes let's now aside go. from that mr tlexify has also had some proud recoil gamer in the situation so much what he man. says the community in zombies is definitely a very interesting one and i shared True. some of their opinions about mr tlexify where not everybody agrees with some of the chat it's like dude the seeing the community evolve since like the nine to 10 years I've been on here has been probably some of the wildest shit I think ever. Cause lads, when I started, there was no zombies community. It was literally you watch either Mr. Dalek JD, Noah J456 or Mr. Waffle Waffles. That was all the zombies community was back in the day. Those three. And then me, me and Pat came along and then a bunch of other people came along as well. It was, yeah, or NGT, or Chaosic Silencer, or Syndicate. It was OGs, man, back in the day. It was nothing as, as saturated as it is right now, Thanks without a doubt. Saying recently, also nothing being like involved it is right in now. a small situation. Jody was editor. there. And speaking of editors, Mr. Tlexify decided to create a website that is aimed to Let's find... Let's go! This is my website! Let's go! What a G, man! You put it in! But yeah, lads, this is my website. Edit.tv. Basically, the idea is you can go on it... Figure out what a homie's tags are, see what their videos are, see how their editing is, see who they've worked with, see what tools they use, message them, you can hire them, you can see all their social media. You, and then also at the bottom, we've now added rev reviews, like Airbnb reviews, so if you've ever done an edit with someone, you can see it. I'm so excited, man, to get in the hands of this for the community, for the YouTube community. I hope the YouTube community eats this up because you can finally credit your editors with a URL that shows everything that they've done. No more of this wishy-washy, shouting out to Twitter garbage. Just literally get on the website and get yourself a page that promotes your portfolio on YouTube. And then, boys, the way the website works is the leaderboard. So whoever's doing the most content on the website, they're going to be put at the top, man. I'm telling... Come on now, chat. Come on now, chat. Let's go, man. Come on now. I really players. hope YouTube picks something up with this idea, man, because there's nothing like more this. And more of them have nothing like this on the, on the platform the right for now. Them. Personally, being a YouTuber myself and trying to edit and record and everything with my YouTube videos takes a lot of time, so it is a very understandable yes. thing. Now, the website and lads, look, I'm going to show you leg legitimately right now what the website payment is so people don't think I'm extorting them. So this is the website right now, lads. Obviously, this would be the leaderboard. You just scroll down. You can pick videos or thumbnails or whatnot. Um, we have a premium in place. The thing is, lads, the premium is not, or it's completely optional. I want people to realize this. It's completely optional. The way the website works right now is you can have a 10% on all your, we take 10% cut just for the transaction fees, literally for the transaction fees and for maintaining the website. We take 10%. You know what Fiverr takes, chat? Fiverr? 
20%, man. I'm already better than Fiverr, okay? Two times as better. Now, and also two orders, but boys, if you get the premium subscription a month, you, you literally get zero commission. So literally, whatever somebody pays is exactly what you get, always, period. So that is why I'm saying, chat, Fiverr's garbage. You get garbage content. Screw that website. Come to my website, and I guarantee you, you will actually get people that understand and know how to make YouTube content and know how to make videos that will actually pop off. And we highlight the video editors of the day, the thumbnail editors of the day, the person that's at the... Hashtag ad boys, you're gonna see it on YouTube. I kid you not, fam. It is called Edited kid you TV not. and is meant to be releasing in July of 2022. It does seem like a very nice and cool thing to be creating, and I think it does have a huge potential for being I really hope you guys big. enjoy it, And I wish it, the man. best of luck to Mr. Telex if I win it. And aside from that, some little things Mr. Telex should be launching this week, chat. Should be launching this week. Because week. of a DMCA strike oh, on the 12th. <laughs> the Twitter ban. Bro, we don't talk about the Twitter ban. Lads, I am still sad about how much I had to pay to get unbanned from Twitter with my lawyers, bro. It was so... I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about it. It's but that bad. February of 2021, which after six months later, he did get unbanned. Just showing you. Yes, the lads, like literally people don't understand. I tried hitting Twitter up multiple times through their like regular support channels. They do not care. Soon as I get a lawyer that comes and writes Twitter an email, the day of, I kid you not, the day of I get unbanned. Lawyers are the life cheat codes, boys. You know, GTA 5G codes? That's all a lawyer is, man. Lawyers are life cheat codes. That's it. CA system isn't the best as he did get banned because of a little video that was playing in the background. Aside from Which that, was the like biggest L I've ever taken. Twitter, take this L, man. Take this L, bro. If I just keeps on going and trying to do his best. Take the views L, are definitely man. not like they used to be. Look at his content. But the fact that But zombie also like zombies is also not what it used to be. For real, chat. This is at the state that it is. It is very I'm understandable. And problem. I can only see <laughs> a bright future ahead. Let's go. That's going to be Actually, great video. video. I've been trying to start this series for quite some time.